Hi, it's Chris with Wannabe Honey Farms. Uh, I just wanted to uh, maybe answer a question that I needed answered uh, when I was first uh, getting started. Um, I was thinking about bees and, well, I was thinking about a lot of things, putting a garden in my backyard, putting bees in my backyard. And uh, one of the questions I had was, wow, I wonder how much of this stuff, you know, that how much room do I actually need uh, to, to do these projects? And so I thought I'd shoot a quick video today and just show you how much room I have. And it by no means equates to you. You got to make your own decisions as to what you have, how much uh, room you want to commit to your projects. But uh, I've kind of decided to turn my my backyard into uh, I don't know a little wild kingdom. Um, I got the bees going on. I got the garden going on. Uh, I love to come out here and watch all the hummingbirds. Uh, of course, there's my dogs. You know they love the backyard too. And later in this video, I'll show you about an addition uh, to Wannabe Honey Farms. Uh, I, and this will answer your question as to if you have room for all of this stuff. But anyway, if you uh, like this channel, be sure and hit the subscribe button. Um, if you're enjoying everything, uh, be sure and hit the like button. And if you want to be notified of future episodes, be sure and hit that bell. But anyway, we're just kind of give you a picture of what's going on in my backyard. Okay, so this is uh, looking down at the yard from above. That's Shirley's garden. She uses probably about one quarter of one side of the yard just for her garden. And then uh, back beyond that, you can see my bee yard and the chicken coop and just off to the right of those um, you can see in a minute it's coming you can see my shed and that's uh, of course where I saw, store all my bee stuff and then if you look down there in the top of the screen you can see the village idiot uh, just sitting hanging around in my yard and now we'll go up above and I'll show you my neighborhood um, I do not live in a rural area at all. It's pretty urban. I got houses all around me, in front of me, and back of me. Uh, we have subdivisions, uh, new housing all around us. So by no means is this farm country. Um, I do encourage you to check out the rules and regulations, though, uh, for whatever city or county that you live in and uh, see what is required to keep bees or chickens. But yeah, so this is my neighborhood. You can see it's not farmland at all. This nice lady right behind me here, she also, uh, she waters my bees for me. She keeps water out for them and I give her honey. Um, all my surrounding neighbors get free honey and that keeps everything, uh, pretty much everybody happy. But anyway, that's what we're looking at for space in my backyard. Okay, well I told you there was an addition to wannabe honey farms and so I thought I'd just bring you inside and show you what's going on. And this, uh, for the time being, is an indoor edition. Um, one of my dogs, Barry, he's a little wiener dog, Jack Russell. He's uh, kind of excited about this project too. So anyway, uh, let's go in here and I'll show you what I got going on. Back in this back bedroom, we kind of use for storage. We bought three additions. I got two Novagen Browns and one Easter Egger. And they're gonna be providing us eggs. Uh, probably about February or March. Uh, Barry, Barry just wants to uh, come in here. I don't know if he wants to play with them or eat them. I have no idea. But they're gonna be an addition to uh, Wannabe Honey Farms. All right, this is my chicken coop that I bought uh, bought from my egg layers and uh, it's not very big it's of reasonable size I only got three chickens but you got the the nesting area here the run and I've still got some leveling to do but you can see I've got it right up against my uh, bee yard and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a hole in the coop and a hole in my my bee yard fence and I'm gonna make the bee yard part of my chicken run and hopefully everybody will get along. But uh, that's my plan, that's my addition for wannabe honey farms. 
Anyway, I hope you've uh, enjoyed this little tour of my Wild Kingdom backyard of Wannabe Honey Farms. It's going to be a whole different uh, channel next uh, next year. Um, I'll probably separate these videos between bees and chickens, but the chickens are definitely going to be a part uh, a part of the channel. But anyway, thanks for watching. Bye bye.